If you want to double your note-taking speed in Notion, all you need to do is learn how to ditch the mouse. And here are three quick tips to learn how to do that. First, learn the markdown symbols. You probably already know you can type slash heading to get a heading block like that, but you can also just type the pound key in space, and now you have your heading. For bullet lists, you can use an asterisk in space. Now there's your bullet. For numbered lists, you've got one and period that kicks you into a number list like that, but you can do a lot more. You can do a quote symbol in a space. Now you have a block quote. And if you do one of these little shift period guys, the HTML forward bracket, bracket space. Now you've got a toggle, which you can very easily enter down into. Now we are into the toggle. And what if you want to get out of the toggle? Well, just enter down and shift tab and you're right back at your top level block list. Tip number two is to navigate these blocks with your keyboard and even switch their order. If we hit escape, we are now in block selection mode and we can use the arrow keys to just sort of traverse all of our blocks. If we hold shift, we can select multiple blocks at a time. And if we hold shift and command, we can even switch the order of blocks or put them inside of other blocks as block children. Now, Finally, tip number three, what if we want this bullet list block to actually be something else? Well, if we enter into it and hit space, we can type slash turn and turn it into say a heading. But of course, there's an even faster way to do it. If we hold command and option, we can cycle through the number keys and each one of these number keys turns it into a different type of block, including even a sub page. And of course, if we want to, we can arrow up, command enter to get into that page or command back bracket to go back to our notes.